Well, hey, everybody. Hey, I thought I'd come out and, uh, well, I have a few things that I really need to share with y'all from the Lord. I do believe that I'm prompted to do this, and in order to do that, I do believe that some of you need to be, like, awake. So, in which case... I will make a fool of myself or risk making a fool of myself by singing that we have the victory over the enemy glory glory and this world can't do me no harm because we have the victory in Jesus over the enemy Glory, glory, and this world, no, can't do me no harm, absolutely can't, and as long as I didn't scare you away with my singing, we can get on with the message now, but if you are in Jesus, you already have the victory, it's already been won on the cross, and it is finished, Satan is under our feet, stomp on his head whenever you're feeling discouraged whenever you're feeling overwhelmed just belt it out it doesn't matter <laughs> all right so i do have a message here and it's about the plant it's about the plants and something else all right so first let's look at the fact that all right the hibiscus here all right um my goodness since 2018 i've been watching hawaii and wow okay so we know what's going on in hawaii right well, I've never had a hibiscus before, and, and or a dead one that's looking pretty beautiful, actually. Reminded me of the fig tree. <laughs> Hence, it's the state flower for Hawaii. Can you believe that? That's crazy. And it's still spewing over there as we see their perplexity on Earth is happening. And looks like we got some more coming. All right. I love it. And, of course, the lily is getting big already. This lavender plant is making me crazy because it keeps coming back. It's all right. <laughs> and the hydrangea, I think it just needed a little bit of love, a little bit of nice soil, and water, right? <laughs> um, these were the old seeds that I threw uh, in dirt, watered them, and look what's happening here, right? I can't make this stuff up. And the little 25 cent starter. Uh, herbs that I have over here are not doing bad at all <laughs> except that time is driving me crazy just trying to figure out how it stayed alive uh, through negative 30 degrees even right <laughs> that was crazy. so the weather as we know it has been chaotic um, and then this plant here this is my last one that I got to get through I'm seeing that I took all my potting soil from last year and all my plant and I dumped them all in here but obviously there's something growing here that I don't know know about and I can't wait to dig into it transplant it in dirt and uh, water it and see what happens okay so which leads me to my message on the plant all right now I must confess this plant right here which is the moon plant, all right? Um, if you remember, a few years ago, I actually kind of like rushed some seeds, and, uh, well, I threw them in the ground and prayed that something would happen, but nothing seemed to happen. It didn't look like the fruit of my labor had worked out at all. But look at it this year, right? I just threw some coffee grounds on there. They're very nutrient okay to the soil <laughs> and we're gonna have beautiful moon plants this year but that's the point is I just planted the seeds I just told up the ground planted the seeds despite everything that happened I've got plants out of this only Jesus right only Jesus all things are possible through Christ all right so knowing that I also wanted to share a couple of things here is you know a lot of people are looking around and we know that there are wars and rumors of wars 
Of course, it's been going on for years. It's biblical wars that we're looking for. And the one that is written is the one that is in the annihilation of Israel, which they're setting up to do right now, right, right in front of us. So with all the distractions, let's make sure that your focus is in the right places, mostly in Jesus. And the Holy Spirit will guide you and lead you in all truth. All right? As Jesus did tell us that in the last days, right before he left, he said, do not be deceived. Mm, my goodness. Even Satan comes as an angel of light. Do not be deceived. Test the spirits. All right? Check everything. Yes, we are fruit inspectors. We know each other by our fruit. So, fruit of the spirit the world knows us by our love we have love for one another um and it's hard to love some of them sometimes right so sometimes you know what i find the best thing to do is to be still know that he is god and that i let my light shine yeah he'll do the rest obviously um i didn't take care of that plant somebody did thank you jesus i give him the glory this is not about me. It's not about you. It's not about any of us. It's all about Jesus. This is his story for his glory. And that book is coming to life. <laughs> you can't deny it. So there's been a shaking going on in the church and waking the church up. And there's also been a revival going on where people that are not even knowing the Lord are starting to ask questions. How amazing. Wow. So there's something going on. <laughs> on, on, on. Always. All right. Um, so the fear tactics. They, we went through this a few times where they throw the fear tactics out there, right? And the fear is just to keep us off track and put our eyes and our focus on the wrong thing. There's no fear in Jesus. All right, one of the things, and I'll leave the link in the description box for y'all, is that they are planning on, so they say planning, okay, to start, all right, if you get the point to this message, <laughs> two to 11-year-olds, all right? Um, my goodness, my heart absolutely broke knowing what we've done to the kids all these years what we have allowed to happen but couldn't stop but God is in control of all things in heaven and in earth and he's allowing these things to happen for a reason and just know that they will be taken care of um, but the one thing as I was praying about it the Lord reminded me of one thing he said that he's going to snatch us out of the way right right before in the nick of time no matter what dates they say no matter what time they say or what they're going to do doesn't matter i'm not listening i'm watching for titus 2 13 to part those clouds as he promised and meet him in the clouds in first thessalonians 14 uh -uh, i apologize first thessalonians 4 14 through 18 as we learned a mystery in 1 Corinthians 15, 53-53. And he will snatch us out of the way. Tribulation is for Israel. And we can tell just by the season. And that's not spring or summer or fall. It's the appointed time. His season. And there's a season for everything. Um, Ecclesiastes 3. But his appointed season, I don't know how much longer, as I've seen the father cry before. But he reminded me that when the rapture happens and we are taken out of the way, all of those children will be gone, including us. Okay? And our little fur babies. So do not be concerned about those things whatsoever. Just... Pray and ask the Lord what you can do to encourage, to love, to be a blessing, whatever that he might want you to do other than to sit there and fret. He said to be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication 
Make your request known to him. Right? Jeremiah 333, call on me and I will answer. And then we know that all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, if the word is true, which I do believe it truly is, he will never leave us or forsake us. He's always here. He's the comforter. Jesus is the word. Faith comes from hearing and hearing from the word of God. That increases our faith. We get out here and we let these little lights in us shine. Right? And he does the rest. Praise the Lord. So, knowing that, just know that we have the victory over the enemy. Glory, glory. And this world can't do us no harm. Happy from Texas. Peace out. See you tonight. Saturday Night Live. From Texas. Maranatha.